it's amazing because it feels like you've been here, you know, with your knowledge base, 20, 25 years, you know, um, you've really accelerated so much, especially while I was gone. So I guess that tells you um, something. Um, and uh, anything you want to say about your 10 years? Oh gosh, it's, it's been a great 10 years. I couldn't imagine working anywhere else. And, you know, it's even better than I could have imagined, you know, when I started at IBD, seeing the the journey, seeing the change that we've had in the last decade. I mean, when I started, we were still a daily print uh, and our videos were PowerPoint slides with voiceover. You and Barbara. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we, what, yeah, and uh, started, you know, doing videos in the newsroom. So thank you to Chris for just kind of letting me experiment and test things out. And, and every uh, day, to, Allie would go for walk it. by my desk with, <laughs> uh, you know, she would be carrying the camera, the tripod, she'd be all loaded up. And I'm like, can I help you with that? No, 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 I got it. And she would just set up. In my heels. And, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and then she would just set up and then put it all back in the little office that turned into a camera storage room for her. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I you know. Want to tell we've folks come, about along, we've your... come a long way. You want to tell folks about your um, first time meeting Bill and that how that how that whole transpired yeah. thing? Oh, well, people are if people are interested. I know we're getting, this is over overtime. This is overtime <laughs> hours. We've already given we've already given final final thoughts. Also, by the way, before I forget, and I, I, he's over there. I don't know if he's tuned into the show, but Arnie told me he just celebrated twenty years last week. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. All yeah. Right. So Arnie with the the twenty years, me with the the ten years, but. Uh, you know, some of you may know, but I, uh, as I've mentioned, mentioned it before, but for those of you who don't, uh, I met IBD founder Bill O'Neill when I was a freshman at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas, his alma mater every year, he would uh, go and speak with journalism and business students. And I was very inspired by his talk and, uh, ev everyone who, um, uh, went to the talk, got a free copy of one of Thomas Sowell's books. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was I was being uh, passed out, but I uh, didn't didn't really know who he was. To be honest, to be honest, didn't fully get who he was. Um, but I went up after his talk and I introduced myself and and shook his hand, and so that you uh, had a nice nice little talk from there. And then every uh, year when he would come back to campus. It, you know, we would converse and things like that. And uh, starting my so sophomore year, because um, when you're entering as a freshman, they didn't make it available. It's only for current students. The um, William O'Neill Business Journalism Program at SMU, uh, which I think I was the only one, uh, maybe even still, because I, I do speak with the business journalism class at SMU every semester. I don't know if and maybe again, I just haven't met them of any journalism finance double majors uh, since me. It's usually some sort of a marketing or, or other business um, major. But at any rate, um, I was lucky enough to have a, a scholarship essentially in, in Bill's name starting my sophomore year that stu uh, current students could apply to and, and, and was able to get that for the rest of my uh, time there. So he invested in me, Bill O'Neill invested in me and my education, and I was very grateful for that. And then um, my senior year, flew out to uh, LA for, for some interviews for part of my journalism honors uh, credit. Uh, some finagled my way into interviewing alumni in the media and entertainment industry as part of that, which was great networking. But I came to the IBD offices uh, mainly just to thank Bill for um, investing in my education. And he was asking me what I wanted to do after college and this and that. Told him I loved broadcast journalism. That was really what I was uh, passionate about as a multimedia journalism major. And then, uh, you know, we're, we're having this kind of long conversation. And then he says, hold on a second. And he leaves and he comes back with, what, do you know what he said, to, what he said to you? He, you came back and with the yellow notepad and started interviewing me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think he just said, you know, here, I want you to meet someone, you know, so. Yeah. 
anyway. But I, yeah, I, I could tell right away this is someone we, we wanted on the team. So it was Aww. the decision was made right then. Ah, well, great. And then, and then Bill, he gave me a tour of the building and the print facility. So I got a personal <laughs> tour of the uh, DAI offices uh, with Wait, Bill. He never did that with me. Yeah, he showed wow. me around. Yeah, I got the got uh, the the tour, and then did he, you go out to the print? The, because yeah. that was neat. That was yeah, the, like, yeah, so cool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see the the printing presses, it was it was really cool. And then when I started, he was he was um, still in the office, and uh, he had a, a window that looked into the newsroom. And where I was, my row of desks, I could just turn right and I could I could see into his office and he, he would look out and I would wave at him. <laughs> He'd be like looking into the newsroom and be like, hey. Uh, but I, um, I remember my first day on the job, uh, I, I asked him for advice and he said, always do more than they expect. Those are his words of wisdom. Uh, and you do. Me. You do. Well, I, I definitely have... Um, you know, he, he invested in me. So I, this is my little line. People have heard me say it. He invested in me. So I want to make sure he he's gotten a good return on his investment. <laughs> uh, so um, yeah. And, and I, I remember my, my first week as well, just he, he had an open door policy and I would just kind of walk into his office and update him on how my week is going. And I think people were like, She's just walking into his office. So, you know, <laughs> well, this is a very casual kind of thing, and uh, uh, that. But you know, obviously, the utmost respect for him. But I just I felt comfortable, sort of, you know, ha having him at, as a mentor in a very different way than than the rest of of you did. But you know, since I I knew him from my time at SMU, and that connection was very special to me. And uh, then when I wrote my first uh, headlining. A1 story in print. It was Home Depot earnings. I remember that. <laughs> and I, I brought a copy into his office and I said, you know, here, I, I wrote this story. Can you give me your feedback? And uh, he did. So a little bit later, he walks back with it and gives it to me, you know, tells me good job. And his only note was on the headline. He wanted it, you know, more succinct, two lines instead of three lines on print. And uh, it was my editor uh, who's not Jason Ma, who wrote the headline. And so I gave it to him. I said, hey, beer, uh, Bill has some feedback for you. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow, that's interesting. You know, Jason Ma uh, worked at the Dallas Morning News, I believe. There's a, another Texas connection. Oh, uh, there you go. Yeah. Really? For, formerly uh, assistant news realize. editor. May I interject too, Ali? Is that, yes. It's, it, that's a great story you, you shared about, about Bill. And, you know, Bill and Chris Gessel, this guy, this character to my right, you know, uh, really, I think has taught a lot of people how to build great teams. And that's something that you have done with the video team. Look at, I mean, yeah. Alexis, Rachel, uh, Mike, Mike Chuang, uh, and, and Lily. Uh, and and there's Meredith, been a yeah. major transformation in the video team. And Meredith, of course, of course, who can never forget Meredith on our on our uh, <laughs> lovely East Coast. And so I just want to say that, you know, that that's something that oh you've also you. pushed forward in, in making a great team on the video mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it's a special company with, with very special and talented people. So, you know, I think what the IBD live audience uh, I'm sure sees is how much we, we genuinely care about what we do. We're no. very passionate about it. And we, we really want to carry on the spirit from bill of helping others yeah. uh, because of um, the difference that we've personally felt um, utilizing the, the strategies that he um, really set up the the foundation for. And so we want to share that uh, as far and wide as we can with all of you. And, and again, I'm just so grateful for being here. I, you know, couldn't imagine being anywhere else. And uh, it's been a, it's been a great 10 years and looking forward to the next 10.